What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar, and we are talking about four crypto mining stocks in this video. We're going to go over Marathon, CleanSpark, and IREN, all at the request of Mr. or Mrs. Cow. I'm assuming it's a Mr. Cow, because, wait, no, it would be a Mrs., right? Because cow is, bull is male, cow is girl. So Mrs. Cow, and then Wolf for Robert Miller. If you are a guy cow, change your name to bull. If not, it's a, it's 2024, who cares? But uh, you can be a cow and be a boy. Um, but Marathon, Clean Spark, IREN, and Wolf is what we're, we're, we're here to talk about. Um, let's see. Holding support above previous areas of resistance. Yes, you are on a weekly basis, looking good. Weekly RSI is looking good as well. Uh, yeah, you rejected a little bit this week, didn't you? We got about one day left. Let's see, let's see how you close the week out. You dumped a little bit, and that's okay. Um, that's okay. You might you might do this where you come back down, form a higher low, and then move up. Perhaps you move down to eighteen dollars. You're at twenty dollars now, so perhaps that and then up. I like this winding up here. I think you look fine. You probably are looking to move higher inevitably, relative high to low here. Yeah, you're looking like you want to move to twenty four forty to twenty six dollars pretty soon. Like by the middle of June, if not potentially next week or the week after. But Marathon looking good. Clean Spark now. Clean Spark now at $17 right now. This is the first time, you guys. This will be the first time. And I'm gonna hate it if I'm wrong. But the first time since like the end of February that I will say that I might not, we, we might not see these prices below $12 like I've been calling for, okay? And if anybody's like, how could you? You've been saying we're gonna go there. I've, I've been waiting for that, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, you've been waiting for what? For how long? Cause like, I've only been saying that since here. So like, we're, we're at the same price. We haven't gone anywhere. It's not like you're missing an opportunity by me changing my mind now, but everything's bullish, you guys. Everything's bullish and most of the mining stocks look bullish. CleanSpark has been leading the way. I'm not gonna, deny that, right? I haven't seen enough in the space, in the charts to change my mind up until recently. And there is always, you can't be so stubborn that you can't change your mind, right? But you have to be confident and fixed on your position and be be strict with your rules until you see enough to change it. This, this it, we haven't done anything significant yet, but I, I, I feel like I've seen enough to kind of change my opinion. The daily RSI is weird, but oddly bullish, I would say. Um, you're just not giving up the price, man. You're consolidating real tight up here. I have a feeling you're coming to the end of it. Everything looks like it wants to move up soon, so you probably will. If I'm wrong and inevitably proven right all along that you're going down there, now that I've finally relinquished that, I'm going to be so upset. But isn't that how it happens? Uh, so a, a little word of caution. But you look like you're doing really good, man. Holding above the seven eight, below the 786, above the 69, you did tip a previous area of resistance right there technically. So, I mean, I think you look fine. That is another area of resistance here and areas of support. Your next target, you're at $17 now, but your next target area would be $29.59. And knowing Clean Spark, I wouldn't be surprised if you moved higher. I mean, let's just see here. Let's draw, let's draw that move. Let's draw that move. Let's draw that move, sure. We'll just kind of like compare them. We'll take notes, okay? From the low there, from the low there. They're, they're all pretty damn close to each other, aren't they? From the low there, look at that. They're all, all these moves are very symmetrical. So a move up to really, I mean, the next target area based on the fibs is 29.60, but let's, let's be real here. If we were to repeat kind of the overall gist of the moves that we've seen, you're looking like you wanna to move to 40 bucks, man. 40 bucks, 43 bucks near this previous cycle high. That's what you're looking like you want to do. That makes sense to me. You're at $17 now. Are you going to do, do that tomorrow? Yes. No, it's going to be weeks, probably months. It's going to be months from now, but when this thing likes to move, it does move fast. Um, but I would assume probably July, August, even September that we see those $40 prices, but I think they're coming. Uh, I am leaning toward the idea now that that is the low and we won't go lower. So Green light for Clean Spark, man. Looking good. You heard it here first. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. I really do appreciate everybody who does that. Uh, we are at almost 6,600 subscribers, 6,600 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. It's it's crazy how far this channel's come um, in about a year since I've I've been I've been doing this for 
I mean, I've been doing technical analysis for over seven years, but I've had this channel now for like a year and a half, but, or maybe it was like, I would, I think it's been like a year and a half. It was in October or September of 2022 that I started it, but I went on a hiatus. We moved and I just, I didn't do videos for like six months. And then I started back up in early 2023, like a little over a year ago. So anyway, since I started back up again, went from less than 100 subscribers to almost 6,600 subscribers. You guys, I'm just very grateful for your votes of confidence. Thank you very much. Um, but let's get back to the uh, to the task at hand. Let's get back to work. Let's stop. I don't know what what grabbing butt. You know whatever whatever you want to call that. Finding resistance at previous areas of resistance in the RSI. So it makes sense that you turn around here, looking like you're at a previous area of resistance in, in price as well. So I mean, hey, that makes sense. Where are you going to go to? Probably see a common fib retracement relative. If I can get it, come on now. Relative low to high. Yeah, six twenty seven. You're at seven dollars now. Six twenty seven could be on the table, and then up. That's my thoughts. IREN looking good. Wolf, but yeah, again, just a little bit down, and then probably up. You could go all the way down to five thirty six or five eleven, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, down nonetheless. IREN. You've moved up a lot, kind of away from the pack. You've torn up. I'm assuming because this is a strong move, I think you will hold six twenty seven. I think you will. Put a line there. Yeah, I think you will. You're going to move down there. The rest of them look like they're going to move a little bit lower. And then inevitably, when you when it is time to break out, you guys, Clean Spark. I was about to move on, but I want to say this: Clean Spark has been the one that's kind of led the pack in these mining stocks. I have a funny feeling on this next move up for the mining stocks. I R E N might take some of that spotlight. It might um, call it a hunch. I don't own any IREN myself, but that's just my belief. I'm not going to sell my Clean Spark for IREN before anybody asks that. No, I don't think you should do that. If you're holding Clean Spark, you should just keep holding it. I think it's going to do well. Uh, but IREN, don't sleep on it, man. It looks it looks kind of interesting. I'm not going to lie. Wolf for Mr. Robert Miller. <clears throat> Terra Wolf. We haven't talked about this one in a while. Consolidating, looking good. You look great. You look so great. Yep, you had a dollar ninety nine, two dollars right now, about right. So a relative high to low in this consolidation phase, looking super good. You're probably going to move up to six dollars, ten dollars when this thing pops. Whenever you finally pop the consolidation, the symmetrical triangle bubble here, when you pop that, you're probably going to see a nice move up. This thing likes to rip when it moves. Um, just like a rough drawing there of that move. I mean, yeah, dude, you you move up to six dollars in a very short amount of time. I mean, on a weekly basis, I'd put you in like the middle of July based off of like if if you were to do it soon, but uh, probably July or August, you'll be at like six bucks to 10 bucks. Maybe sooner than that, it could be June, but I, I would think July or August makes sense to me. But yeah, um, everything else is moving down. So I don't think you're going to break out this week or next week, but perhaps sometime next month, you can see a breakout. Um, if not like in like the middle of next month, something like that is what my thoughts are. But yeah, guys, that's that's about it. That's all I got. So if you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to see more. Thank you all for coming. I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.